Hey Battle Pirates, it's Price is Wrong here, uh, better known from Battle Vortex. Anyway, I'm uh, getting ready to, uh, uh, getting ready to, uh, sorry, I didn't realize this was showing over there. Anyway, I guess it's still showing a little bit, but anyway, I'm going to do the Let It Burn campaign, and um, it is Saturday, and uh, I don't expect this to take me too long, but uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get busy. All right. <clears throat> well, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some music on. All right, royalty free. Playlist. All right. That sounds new, huh? All right. Well, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Activate. Now, I actually currently have about 136,000 uranium. I got quite a bit. And uh, and I had just spent a bunch, too. So I, I've got now, I, I have my, uh, sorry, I have my Goliath going to R10. And um, that was uh, like 50,000 uranium right there. So I got another week and some change for that. But if you look at the rest of my resources, you can tell I'm pretty low. I, I'm like... It definitely put me put me quite low on resources. Um, well, between that and uh, plus, I, I did went and put my um, proto mastodon back in, just put some more missiles on it, and um, so got a little bit of time on that too. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get busy on this campaign. All right, where's dredges are out, and I haven't gotten any dredges, but with as much uranium as I have. Uh, and not being able to spend any real soon, I, I just don't see the point of going out and trying to fill up, you know. Um, I'm going to grab this uranium, obviously, because it's there. And um, uh, so I'm, I'm definitely going to grab this uranium, but I, uh, you know, I, I suspect I'll, I'll end up throwing uranium away. So there's just no point in me going out and getting uranium, and I'm going to end up throwing some away, most likely, uh, particularly when the event starts on Thursday. So let me go ahead and get started. All right. See how many of these I can kill real quick. Uh, that would be so sweet if I could pull that off. I just don't know. I feel like I'm safe now with the, uh... <clears throat> Alright. That looked like I'd done it before, didn't it?
Oh, this chick. Let me get rid of that. Holy crap, man, I'm getting ready to screw up there. Alright, so there's like, what, two votes left? Alright, I'm not going to get them both in one shot, so I don't really need to push it. I might get a little reckless here in a second. I may go ahead and I think I'm think right now I'm thinking about using my reapers. Hey, Bucked Up. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm just going to stick with what I know works. I'll go ahead and use my other boats. I'm alright. I'm hanging in there, man. It's been a quiet few days, man, I'll tell you that. Just been home alone since Wednesday. Family won't be back until tomorrow, so it's been been kinda quiet. I've not been playing a lot this week either. Just doing the bare minimum. You know, not been doing the dredges. Just no point really. I mean I just got too much uranium. Don't don't really need the dredges. Hey, how's the music uh, and all that? Yeah, I was playing, I, I watched one of my uh, streams back, uh, I think from last Friday, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, it, um, I, it sounded like my audio was like really, really blown out, you know, because um, I had my, my volume all the way up to like 95%. I backed it back down to like 80, uh, la, 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 85, I think. Hey, Cruiser. Did I say it right, Cruiser? How you doing? Alright, got some uranium. Now, my res was really, really low. So, this here is a 500% load. Um, it's about 106 million. It's going to definitely put uh, 
put some stuff back on my uh, on my warehouses. <clears throat> so my my resources have been hugely depleted. See, right there is a 14 million. Went to 56 million on my zinth. I go ahead and just put that in there for repair and even though I'm only going to be in here for a minute. But that was uh, just the first let it burn. Prize pack one. So now time to go get prize pack two. Now my pos entry position last time was perfect. And um, I just got to try to remember that. And, and the, uh, you know, wave one on all three prize packs are the same. Alright, so here I just basically I just want to move forward. I'm going to go ahead and target the fast moving boat. I'm, going to, I'm just going to let them run into my field here, my, my range circle. Alright, now once he does that, then I'm just going to move forward. And uh, obviously I'm not going to drive through the fire if I can help it. But, um, so I'm just going to continue moving forward. Go ahead and target this guy right there. Got the fast, the 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 roamer, the uh, see if I can get him to run into my uh, my range. Yeah, there we go. It like the, yeah, that'll work. Alright, now the rest is just easy pickings. Uh, my warehouses are all 12s. Hey monsters. How you doing bud? DH, what's going on? Yeah, I apologize for not doing a whole lot of streaming this week. Um, just not a whole lot for me to do. Uh, pretty much I've been flat and like as soon as my bubble pops this week. So it's not been a good week for me to, to actually do uh, anything other than chores. And um, uh, and then uh, I haven't really been needing any uranium. I, I figure any uranium I, I get is just going to increase the potential of me throwing uranium away. So... I don't want to throw any uranium away. It's a lot of wasted effort, man. Uranium is not cheap. Yeah, I'm alright, man. Just hanging in there. <clears throat> Spending a lot of time, man, watching Banhammer this week, I tell you that. Man, uh, Banhammer's been nuts this week. Been watching that, just watching the screen, watching other people do battle. So I've been, like I said, just doing a lot of time. A bit, been flat pretty much. You know, as soon as my bubble pops, and uh, this week. So, <clears throat> basically, I just keep putting my guard into repair, and it's pretty much what it's been like for me this week. Uh, how much can I hold? Uh, I'll tell you in a minute. I don't really remember. I know it's short of a billion resources altogether. Hmm. 
everything all right. All right, warehouses. Um, I can hold 227 million of each. 227 million. I don't know if you see that number down there, but that's how much I can hold of oil, metal, uh, energy, and xanthium. Pretty good, I guess. I can hold uh, 208,000 uranium, and I'm currently at 144,000. Yeah, I like uh, not having to take a ton of repairs. I mean, it definitely frees you up to do other things, you know, given the opportunity, but... Anger. Yeah, you need to get your resources up, man. Or get get them things upgraded. Comes in handy sometimes. You could probably take these things a little slower if you wanted to get more res out of them, because obviously there's a lot more in there than 106 million. Haha. <laughs> Anger issues may be on here. He's been having some trouble. Um... I'm just going to tell him if his chat doesn't work, he needs to change his Twitch password. Alright, I'll go in there and start repair again. And I'll start the uh, next prep. Thought I hit start repair. Alright. Well, anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, Anger, you're watching right now. If you, you I need to chat, uh, you'll need to actually go into your account and change your password. A lot of people have had that. The Twitch was hacked um, a couple weeks ago, and um, uh, they made it so that everybody has to change their passwords. And uh, and uh, if you haven't changed your password, then um, your chat won't work. So. They did send an email out to everybody, so I know a lot of people just went out and created brand new accounts, and uh, that probably wasn't the best way to handle it for most people, but that's what a lot of people did. All 
All right. Now I don't remember. I know these don't really change or have not changed. I think this is probably like the fifth one of these. Um, but they don't really change. Uh, okay, so it's just these two hulks that move on this one. So I'm just basically going to just try to not slow down for this guy here at all. And just keep it moving because I want to get to these hulks. I, I always try to make uh, killing these big guys here a priority. All right, now let's start running back out of here. Always try to make uh, anybody that's moving, not the big guys, but anybody that's moving. If the the roamers are the ones that I try to get, try to make those a priority. I target them whenever I can because they're like targets of opportunity. You you don't get to. They're so fast that when they're moving, you're not going to catch them. They you basically have to let them run into you. And sometimes that can have really bad consequences. Oh, Anchor's watching. I guess I just come down here because I uh, no no point of pushing it. Usually when I push it, it just gets me shot. So. I, don't, I try not to go directly towards them if I can help it. I usually try to catch them on the side, you know, going by them. That way I don't have to stop. I don't like having to stop. I try to manage my path a little bit. All right, now start going away from the tower, the, the, the platform there. All right, that ought to do it. Oh, yeah, but the kudos are great. The kudos, um, they have a lot better cloak efficiency. Uh, just, well, visible, their visible uh, range is a lot lower than the Nighthawk. So, uh, yeah, it'd be definitely be a lot better. You, you can definitely, um, they don't need as much cloak efficiency to do perform as well as the Nighthawk. They just don't need it. I'm gonna have to remember the spot where I enter next month, man, because this is a 
really good spot. It's just above three o'clock. Just above three o'clock. All right. All right, now basically what I just did was I targeted the rockets. Um, I took the number five boat and I targeted this rocket over here. And my number two boat, I got targeting this rocket. And I did that using my shift click method. So basically I, I just hold down the shift key and then I select the target. Um, now this is after I have all, having already picked a destination. So my destination markers don't actually change. But uh, it's just basically making the target a priority. Um, it's just the Serbs, they, the rockets, they have a tendency to hurt kind of bad, you know, um, if you don't take them out quickly. But these, this, this hole is really, really tough. I got it. This is a very, very tough fleet right here. Alright, now I'll start targeting everything else, so. Let me go ahead and get this right there out of the way. There we go. Boom. Nice. All right, so there's another bunch of resources. So that's another 106 million. Yeah, I don't know, understand why you know, some people have such a big problem with the Twitch chat and others don't. I really don't get it. Um, let me just right click over there. It's it's not flash based or anything like that. The chat's not flash, so. I really don't get it. I don't know if there's like some kind of a plugin that it that that Twitch chat uses. I, I I really don't get it. But he can still use the game chat, and I'll uh, obviously I I pull it up. I'm uh, just going to switch these guys around. I don't I don't think it'll make too much difference, but I'd rather just put a little bit more repair on that thing. Alright. All my resources are getting up there a little bit again. I'm up to about 141 million. I've got a lot, a lot of room in here for resources. A lot of room. But you only get resources for the island. You know what I mean? And the only way for me to maximize how much I pull out of there is... Um, the only way to maximize... I, I guess I could put another super fortress in and get rid of my my highlander nuke cruiser but uh you know the highlander nuke cruiser it, it gives my hell strikes radioactive defense so i really don't want to do that and re reload uh a reload buff so i don't want to do that and um uh but i could always just like not kill it all the way <laughs> but then if i do that then i'm getting unnecessarily beat up and taking more damage anyway so it's quite silly. Memorial at mine. Alrighty, you. Haha. <laughs> Anger. Anger is my buddy, man. He, uh. <laughs> he's my buddy. I, uh. He's, he's a good good guy man good guy you don't see a whole lot of great people in this game to be honest with you and uh, but he he he, he is definitely a, a good guy I have made a, a couple of really good friends in this game all right now this is the same wave one again so basically again I'm going to target the the active scout I'm going to try to target the active scout and uh, let it run into my, my range circle there. 
Alright, and I don't want to get too close because, you know, you get too close and then, uh, you get too close and then you, uh, you get spotted and then your, your whole world just goes to crap at that point. Alright. So basically just repeat wave one all over again. Alright, get like three, four volleys off and I'll be golden. Nice. I'm very, very happy with that. And it's like perfect entry, perfect execution right there. Loved it. Loved it. Hey, Foxo. Yeah, 76.6 .6 cloak efficiency is, uh, that's, that's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And, um, but you know, for, for a CUDA, you don't need a whole lot of cloak efficiency. Yeah, I got um, retrofit level 10 siege torps on here. My siege torps are level 10. So yeah, and when you take seven seven torpedoes on five boats, it's 35 torpedoes, and these are siege torps, and um, they hit really hard. Yeah, so they're they're tough. I don't really see a range circle, uh, a sonar indicator on this particular hull, but I'm still scared of it, I ain't gonna lie. Oh man, I crashed. Alright, uh, my stream should be back up. I don't know what that happened. That was bizarre, right? That It just seemed like it just crashed for no freaking good reason. And, um... Uh yeah, I don't really get it. I don't know what happened. I know I was talking about my siege torps. <clears throat> They're level 10, and uh, seven torps on five boats. It's 35 torpedoes. They 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 sting a bit. Take care, bucked up. I'm doing good, Foxo. I'm hanging in there, buddy. Hanging in there. You know what? Let me just pull that out of there and put put my other one back in, and then I'll just I'll move this one over here and just keep it repairing.
Anchor, I, if you changed your password, did you change your password? I mean, because uh, that should have fixed it. Now this wave two will be the same thing as the wave two of the second campaign, of the the, the second prize list or prize pack. So yeah, basically got the two big hulks that are are the only ones that are moving in here. Yeah, sting a little bit. Kaboom! Take that. Now basically I'm looking at this javelin right here and you see it's about to lined up with the top of my bar here. So usually about right here at the very top of my map, I guess you guys can't see where my mouse is, but just above, like underneath where it says price is wrong, is um, on, on my Twitch stream here is generally where the uh, a safe zone is. You know, uh, when you have that little icons on the top right, like the retreat button, if you get up next to your retreat button, then you know you're safe. Oh crap, I just realized I got to... Uh -huh. All right. Now going uh left and right usually I just put my I just try to pretty much go across the whole screen because uh, the, the 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 ellipticals in here there it's actually like a 16 by 9 ratio I believe if I'm not mistaken so if you have a widescreen a standard widescreen 16 by 9 which is uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution then basically uh, you know, the the with your width from uh, left to right is exactly the same as from top to bottom. Uh, you know, in this faux 3D environment, it's not really 3D. Uh, if you get what I'm trying to say. So, um, so I'm just trying to say that if you had like your 16 by 9 boxes, if you know what your range is going from top to bottom, you know, like if the javelin range was the whole distance, then uh, basically. Um, you know, it would be the same thing going, you know, side to side, right to left, horizontal. All right, so now I'm going to move that javelin up next to my retreat, and I'm just going to go down. Usually, if you, your butt is pointed directly at the javelin, you know, obviously that's the quickest way to get away. But you can like always zoom out for extra effect, whatever.
The only one that's unique uh, that you don't see over and over again, obviously, is the third prize pack, third wave. And um, that one there's got like two berserkers in it, uh, or five berserkers, I believe. Highlander back, Super Fortress back, and other Super Fortress back, and then let's go. Alright, so I target the Serb there, the rocket, and then I just tell it to come around, and then with my number two boat, which is on the right side, I do the same thing. Target that rocket, and then tell it to go down. And that's it, just watch the show after that. Watch it mow everything down. I think I need to take some sinus medicine, man. My sinuses feel a little sore today for some reason. I got the the weather outside is beautiful. I mean, yesterday it was like actually warm. It was uh, like in the upper upper 80s yesterday. And then uh, when I checked the the thermostat, well, the the thermometer to see what the temperature was outside today, a little while ago it was 77. So it probably is going to get warmer, but I have the windows open, a window open in the front and in the back. The animals love it, man, when I open the windows. They, they just, they love it. They go crazy. So anyway, um, um, I got, you know, they got a little breeze going through and perhaps allergens in the air or whatever is kind of messing my sinuses up. I don't know, but my sinuses are feeling a little sore, a little congested, a little sore. All right, one more. All right, wave three. This is it. This is the big one. Twenty-five thousand uranium and irradiated cutthroat uh, for this. And just so you know, um, it doesn't matter how many in, in your great hall. It doesn't matter how many road crews you have. Um, any one. Uh, cut any one road cruise uh, just add to your collection just once you hit 10 you can't roll for anymore you can only uh, you can only roll for road cruise if you have less than 10 and I'm well over 10 I can tell you that right now and I think I already got like five of these and this will be like six um, I just have not been needing any uranium um, the uh, you know the, the the current system now it's designed for the people who coin all the speed ups and uh, you know, I, I tried to bring myself to do it. I just couldn't do it. I mean, it was like 100 for like two days or something like that just so I could spend some more uranium. And I'm like, I'm not doing it. Just not going to do it. All right. I don't really remember which ones are active in here. So I guess we'll just... All right. So if anything looks like it's going to hit me, then I'm going to try to act, er, make sure it's selected. Alright, didn't get none of that, darn it. Because, you know, I really want to be able to get these. Alright. Now, when they get stuck on the island, and if I manage to get in here and not being able to, to hit anything, there we go, right there. I got a few of them. I did a little, little something, something to them. Um, once I get to a certain point, um, basically, I will... Uh, if I end up having more of these things to have to go catch, then what I'll end up doing is just driving to the island every time I get ready to submerge. I just drive to the island. Uh, it's because they do have a tendency to bounce off the island, as you can see. And that that's obviously where they're going to slow down, because I have no chance of catching them. None. No chance of catching them. We don't all have siege cannons that can reach across the whole map to slow something down. Only Reavers get those. Alright, let's see where the boats are at. Alright, so they should be like targeting me now that I am surfaced and trying to come up my direction. So, 
I just need to be ready for them. Alright, if I manage to get close enough to, to like I said, to kill anything, I, I will, but... That guy there's moving. Oh my god, he's so fast. Holy crap. That was surprising. It's like he didn't speed up until he got into my my range there. Alright. Let's just go ahead and run away. Things are so freaking fast, man. It's like, holy moly. Let's see how close he gets. Man, he got fat. Look at that. I can't believe he never saw me. That's just mind blowing. I can't believe he never saw me. As close as he got, that was amazing. see where he's at I'm just gonna go ahead and start going away again cuz I, uh, I I don't I don't like risking being close because these subs are like a uh, 15 and a half hour repair or something like that it's just crazy crazy repair times I'm really not happy at the moment because he's on my side of the screen and he's super fast so I just really need to run I need to probably get ready to hit my retreat button honestly Yeah, he started shooting at me, so I just jumped out of there before anything hit me. straight in there if I would end up being able to catch him. What I'll do is i go ahead and just do the whole plan B bit where um, you see how he gets stuck on the island and um, I just go ahead and clean up the rest of the boats real quick. I notice he's sliding north. Let's see here. Uh, it's terrible. I think were I to retreat and, and come in and just go like underneath the island, if I would eventually run into him and, and be able to kill him. I'm trying to come up with a plan because they pretty much do always follow the same path. And this is weird. It's like he just did like a 360 type deal. Now he's like super fast again. Let me zoom in this time to see what I can get away with. I got my finger on the retreat button again. Look at that man. Turn on a dime. Look at that guy. I'll tell you.
Yeah, whatever pattern he follows is extremely odd. Very peculiar pattern. Just got to remember when I, um, when it, af after I kill this boat, it's just every time I get ready to, when I'm going to surface, then I drive away from the island, and then when I'm going under, then I drive towards the island. And eventually, I should be able to, to, to kill him. Dang it, I can't believe I didn't kill that guy. Run! Alright, let's see here. Alright, so that's dead. And basically I'm just going to just keep circling around this island and hopefully to be able to kill this thing here. And now it's taken a really wide circle. What's up with that? I mean, its pattern is like so freaking erratic. There we go. I got him. All I need to get off is two volleys I think does the trick, but the third volley is just uh, icing on the cake just in case. I'm really happy with that. I mean, I wish the only you know I wish I did, wouldn't have had to retreat, but you know it was really smart for me to retreat when I did. So um, I kind of really feel like I did that one perfect. This is that freaking ambiguous video game ending again. I hate this freaking track. Next. All right. Oh, I've got ninjas out here, he says. Now, obviously, the island configuration will also be different. So, uh, again, number five, target the Serb, and then I just tell it to come down. And two, there is no Serbs on this side, so I'm just going to tell it just to come down here. Once this is gone, then I'll, I, right now I have everything selected, but once this Serb here on the left is gone, then I'll just select, um, I do a shift, hold down the shift key, and select this other Serb here. And, um, uh, to make sure it gets targeted uh, in a reasonably quick fashion. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot all about targeting that Serb there, darn it. That's alright, it's all over with anyway. Well, 
Well, that's that. You know, I'm actually kind of disappointed because I really did expect that. Um, I really did expect that that would fill my resources up completely. Because that was what three, six, well over six hundred thousand resources I would have gathered. But I guess it was mainly Zenth. So my my uranium is. I'm sorry, my uh, not uranium. My uh, Zinthium is full. The rest of them got a pretty good amount now. I'm up to about 155 million on everything else. Alright, so now I just go ahead and put all this other stuff back together again. So I can get all my repairs done. Alright, so I got 3 hours and 13 minutes worth. So. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Uh, Phantom Assassin. Alright. Well, anyway, uh, so that concludes my Let It Burn. Um, I guess, really, the only other thing I got to do now, I mean, I, I could go out and hit dredges, which I'm not going to do. Um, I'm up to 186,000. Um, I can hold 208. Uh, so that means that's, let me see, 104 and 8. I'm sorry, 14. 14 and 8 is uh, 22 so I could probably hold about another 22,000 uranium but uh, even though I know we still have Drudge Day on Tuesday and uh, you know when the campaign starts on Thursday and plus we're going to have Drudges during the event uh, when the campaign starts on Friday uh, Thursday we're still going to have Drudges on Friday but the uh, Reaver Assault platforms um, will also be paying out uranium I don't know how much uranium but I know we're going to get uranium from because, you know, we have, get like the 8,500 or whatever uranium it is from the uh, event, from getting 10 million points. Um, and then we're going to get uranium from the reverse salt platform. So, um, there'll be more uranium, a lot more uranium. And I just don't like the idea of throwing any, anything away. And I really just, so I just don't want to do more work than I have to, quite honestly. And uh, 186,000 uranium is a lot of uranium. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any more of that. You know, I don't, I don't remember, uh, it looks like my game is actually slightly, uh, let me, let me, uh, looks like my, my game is slightly, it doesn't sit in the frame just like I thought I had it. I thought I had it fit in there a little bit better than this. Uh, let me see if I can, I'm going to play with it just for a second. So that's window capture. Nice. That's the overlay. That nah, doesn't seem right. Alright, so that is my game. So there's that. See, I thought I had it sitting here more like this right here. And then I just slide it back, slide it down just a smidge. Man, it just wants to jump. It doesn't want to just go down a little bit. It wants to like go all the way down. Maybe if I full screen it, I can play with it a little bit better. Yeah, because I was trying to make it so that everybody could see, you know, a, a good deal.
Let's see here. Hey, that looks pretty good right there. I think that's what I want right there. All right. That way, uh, you know, I, I just re really wanted all the resources, all the buttons on the right side to be visible. I wanted, uh, I wanted, the, you know, all that stuff to be visible that needs to be visible. And not to mention, uh, it's like, you know, when I go out to the world map and all that, uh, you guys still can't see my sector and all that, which is also what I'm going for. So I thought I had it set up this way already, but apparently at some point um, things got changed. So I don't know when that was. But anyway, it's all fixed now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up though guys uh, let me go ahead and do shout outs real fast oh, um, I'll go review my fleets real fast uh, now everybody pretty much knows my Nighthawks but I'll go ahead and go over them again anyway um, crap uh, let me dock them I gotta dock them alright uh, the boats used in this video Well, DH, I mean, you're chatting right now, so it must still be working. All right. Let's see here. Um, the subs that I use for prep are my Phantom Nighthawks, and my, well, my Phantom Nighthawk and my regular Nighthawks. Um, uh, it's the only legendary fleet that I have, but um, I do have uh, seven Siege Torp Zs on here. Mine are all R10, so they, they pack a punch. Um, I have uh, D2S armor, um, also R10, uh, and then I have uh, Cat 3 and Battery 3, which are both under the, the retro, same retrofit, uh, which is uh, uh, Stealth Systems and under Advanced in the Retrofit Lab, and those are R5, and then I have Engine 3. Um, when you look at the, uh, the numbers, my cloak efficiency on here is 85.3%. Well, they do pretty good. The only downside of these is that their turn speed is pretty low. 15 uh, is not enough. Um, I was really kind of hoping I'd get a better turn speed at the uh, legendary rank. Didn't really work out, but I'm not willing to sacrifice my combat speed um, for more turn speed. So I'm, I'm just going to keep them like this. And then uh, the range also uh, is 71. Usually when you're doing fleet versus fleet type of thing, you want better turn speed and you want more range. Um, so assault tort bees would fix that, and speed system would fix that. But uh, th those two issues. But um, these here are designed primarily for for base guard prepping. Um, so where you, you want speed and you want to hit hard. So uh, that's that's why I've got my stuff set up the way I do. Um, that way, you know, I can stay submerged. Uh, I, I can cover as m a lot more distance while submerged you know with engine 3 than I could with speed system so but anyway the other fleet that I had was using in here was my uh, my hell strikes now I did use my my uh, Highlander nuke cruiser but you see that one there is just basically speed system guidance scrambler and, and a phalanx there's no, no really offensive on here um, I use it really only for the flagship effect which is uh, radioactive reload and radioactive defense and then I uh, put it with my two super fortresses alright and then um, uh, obviously for carrying res but they also the secondary purpose of these really is to 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 hold their hold positions you know if, without these in here I, i'm not 100 percent sure it seems like all of the hell strikes will end up showing up on one side and just the the they just affect the positioning of of uh you know where all of the holes are in the fleet and they shouldn't but they do but um uh my hell strikes are all built identical as well they um if you see here, I have, uh, I'm trying to see if I can, I guess I have to cancel to click one. All right. I have basically six of uh, the D104Ns on here, on each one. I have a single blaze thrower. All right. Um, for the armors, I've got uh, D5Es, and these are all R10. Um, I have the compound plate four, which, uh, CP4, which no retrofits on that yet. Uh, yeah, no retrofits on that. And then... Um, yeah, no retrofits up here or up here. So uh, for the specials, I use the strike system. That helps with the... Uh, it, it doesn't have an accuracy debuff like speed system or engines does. Um, you know, with the launchers, that can be kind of important. And um, and I got heavy plating 3 just to help get my defenses up. Uh, reflective coating 3. 
uh, and also I have the Siege Battery 3, which gives me uh, the turret defense, 40% turret defense, and 60% building damage buff. Alright, if you look at my numbers on here, you can tell, like, building damage, I got 220% buff on that. Um, my Ballistic Defense, 69, Evade, 76, Explosive is 74, Missile, 63, plus it has 30% armor abilities because it's an R5 hull. Oh, I'm sorry, R10 hull. So it has 30% armor abilities. So basically, any any uh, anything I get off these these armors is increased by 30%. So when I get you get the 10%, basically it, it turns into 13%. Um, you know. So um, da, 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 da. radioactive defense is 55. It's got a lot of nice stuff on there. Um, I, I I do need to get a lot of lot more rank. Uh, 21,000 armor is what these things have on them. Um, but they are hell strikes, uh, so that's Reaver Tech, uh, so 150% repair modifier. Unless I can get a VXP a repair specialist for these, so hopefully that happens one day. Hopefully. And uh, yeah, and I'll, I will be hosting the round table, and that's in about uh, a little over four hours. About four hours is 20 minutes. Um, for you guys on here, you know, if you, you uh, hit me up on Facebook if you want an early link, let me know. And uh, as soon as I log in and I get the uh, URL, I'll uh, I'll send it to you. So uh, shout outs: Cruiser 75, DH397, Fast Shot 45, Haikuju no Kaido, Mac Daddy Gary, Malias NA, Miguel Thor 2, Monsters 86, Foxo, and Z Dog 40. Thanks all you guys for getting on here and uh, and hanging out. And uh, chat's been a little slow, but. Um, uh, it apparently is working. I don't know why I crashed earlier, but I did. Um, so I'm probably just going to upload my local recording up to YouTube instead of pushing it over from Twitch like I normally do. But you guys take care. The price is wrong, bitch. <laughs>